The fourth stage of the inquiry dealt with the control of dangerous drugs, uh, in particular dimorphine, which Shipman invariably used as his method of killing. I found there was quite good control at the wholesale distribution stage uh, and also at the retail pharmacy stage, uh, but I was very concerned by the complete lack of uh, control uh, once those stages were over, and in particular, that there was no control over the possession of such drugs by general practitioners. I made a number of recommendations. These were considered by the Department of Health, and responsibility for action was assigned to Lord Warner. I thought he was very good. He appeared to have read his report myself, himself, rather than having read a, a summary. He told me quite quickly what he was going to accept and what he was going to reject. He gave me his reasons for the rejecting what he did. I didn't agree with him, of course, and he gave me the chance to uh, try and persuade him, but I failed. He then put legislation through, implementing the recommendations that he liked, and they did go straight onto the statute book. How much good they've done, I don't know, because as far as I'm aware, there's been no review of how they're working. Of course, I still think he would have been better if he'd accepted the whole package, but that is his privilege as a policymaker and legislator, and I have no complaints that he didn't accept the whole package. What I do find disappointing, in contrast to Lord Warner's uh, very straightforward reaction to my proposals, is when a government minister doesn't tell me what he's going to do and doesn't give reasons for what he is going to do or not going to do. That is very frustrating indeed. This part of the um, inquiry, this fourth stage, provides a good example of the effect I was speaking of a moment ago about examining issues through a particular lens. Uh, my focus in uh, the fourth stage was in preventing seeking ways of preventing health professionals from deliberately obtaining drugs illicitly, as Shipman had done. I didn't think about or apply my mind to the accidental misuses by health professionals. If I had done, I would certainly have recommended that no general practitioner should ever be permitted to carry a 100 milligram ampoule of diamorphine in his doctor's bag. It is a far greater amount than he could possibly need, and having it there would create a risk that he might not realize which size of ampoule he was using. Not funny, baby. <laughs> How much he was going to inject. If I had realized that, a horrible, tragic accident might have been avoided when two years ago, a German doctor acting as an out of hours locum did precisely that. He took a 100 milligram ampoule and injected the whole lot without realizing. If I had been, if I had been looking at that problem through a general lens rather than the shipman lens, I'd have said that. Was that part of my inquiry worthwhile? I very much doubt it. <laughs>